Hello, and welcome to the Race 30 webinar. Today we'll be going over the new reveal of the E2CF and the Pro 3, talking about new features and the upgrades over the older E2 and Pro 2 series. Starting the new features off of the E2CF, it is running a new system for the extruder assemblies. The previous version of the E2, the standard E2, had one single driven feed gear for the filament and then a side idle bearing off on the extruder arm. The E2CF now uses dual direct drive for the extruder system, and that is going to drive both feed gears simultaneously. Each one is toothed, so that way they both grip the filament and feed it down into the nozzle, making a much more consistent extrusion system for those carbon fiber materials. It is also built to withstand the highly abrasive materials within the additives of carbon fiber nylons, so they're going to be able to uh, last throughout the usage of the entire machine and be highly durable. Another new feature on the E2CF is the new type of nozzles we're running. Uh, typically, all of our machines would come stock with 0.4 millimeter brass nozzles. The E2CF is going to come stock with 0.4 millimeter silicone carbide nozzles, or the SIC nozzles. Uh, those are going to be able to withstand much more highly abrasive materials for much longer print times. We're expecting to get upwards of 1,000 hours of print time before the nozzle would be worn out to the point of needing replacement. The new other features would be including the filament dry boxes on the side. These are meant to hold one full kilogram of material. Inside of these, there are uh, wheels for resting the material on this to make sure that it feeds smoothly, and then also the desiccant chambers within the box as well. These are meant to keep the material in a low humidity environment to make sure that it does not absorb moisture while printing, so you can dry them beforehand, keep them in these boxes, and then they would uh, not be absorbing any extra moisture throughout the prints. The E2CF also features the same automatic bed leveling system that the E2 has, so it is able to go through, probe the entire build surface, and make sure that everything is going to be properly compensated for when running those new carbon fiber materials. The E2CF also shares a similar design to the print heads to the standard E2 with a similar two bolt mounting system onto the linear X-Rail. So all that is needed is to remove those two bolts, disconnect the extruder connection cable, and then of course disconnect the PTFE feed tube for the filaments, and then a new head can quickly be reinstalled. The E2CF also features the same flexible build plate that you would see on the standard E2, allowing for quick removal of parts with a quick bend of the plate, and then that'll be rapidly reinstalled and probed to compensate across that flexible surface. The E2CF is also going to be pre-built into our comprehensive 3D printing system. There are already profiles for it built into the newest versions of IdeaMaker, and it'll also be fully compatible with our already existing cloud system for remote operation from any internet-enabled network. With the IDEX system, it allows the E2CF to print carbon fiber materials in both duplication and mirror mode to allow for two parts to be printed at the exact same time. It also allows for dual material printing, where we can run carbon fiber nylon materials along with our support material for a rapid breakaway to quickly remove supports on intricate parts. With our new PA12 carbon fiber material, these are very lightweight, high strength yield parts, perfect for automotive, aerospace, and other industrial applications, putting these 3D printed parts directly out in the field. With the new carbon fiber support material, it also is perfect for quickly removing supports off of parts, and it leaves a beautiful internal surface finish on those areas as well. Overall, the E2CF has been redesigned and evolved in the already existing E2 system. It uses very similar print heads and the same flex plate system, so you'll already be familiar with the setup. But it has been redesigned and rebuilt in order to withstand consistent printing of carbon fiber materials. All of the internal sections that are going to be exposed to the carbon fiber are reinforced and all metal in order to withstand those abrasive particles. So you should be able to get hundreds, thousands of hours of print time on the E2CF with its new upgrades. The E2CF is a fantastic addition to any manufacturing ecosystem to allow printing high strength carbon fiber nylon parts with an easily removable support material. It's very user friendly with features for disabling the lights and the screen whenever it is not being used but still actively printing, the boxes for keeping the material dry so it doesn't always need to be kept in a dryer, and 
again, fully included in the Idea Maker system as well with pre-made templates to get pr started printing as quickly and easily as possible. Prices for the ETCF are starting at $4,499. We're accepting pre-orders starting November 1st, and you can see us in action at Formnex in Frankfurt, the SEMA show in Las Vegas, and West Tech in Long Beach. Starting with the features of the Pro 3, it has new interchangeable hot ends, a significant upgrade over the Pro 2's previous print head. Pro 3 runs an independent module extruder with a dual extrusion structure, which allows the Pro 3 series to print using a variety of filaments while reducing clogging and enabling convenient disassembly and replacement of the components, reducing the machine's downtime. The interchangeable hot end system is ideal for users who may need to often switch from non abrasive to abrasive materials that require different nozzle types or users who want to print at higher speeds and requiring different nozzle sizes. The Pro 3 features an automatic bed leveling system, which allows the print head to go through and probe to get a level of the entire bed's mesh. From there, it is able to compensate across the entire bed to compensate for the flexible build plate. The new Airflow Manager is a brand new addition included on the Pro 3 series. This system allows for the external intake of air to allow to cool down the internal uh, printing chamber to allow for printing lower temperature materials with the lid on in a fully enclosed environment. It also includes the HEPA filter in the back, so that's able to filter out any fumes or particulates given off by certain materials, but overall the entire system allows for fully enclosed printing of lower temperature materials. The Pro 3 includes a new smart assistant known as Eve. This system is able to evaluate uh, prints and guide the users to certain areas based on the issues that they are experiencing. It's able to ask if we are using raised 3D filament or a third party and help with fine tuning those other materials as well. In certain cases, if it just needs to be recalibrated, it's able to guide the users to its own recalibration guides and they can continue from there. The Pro 3 changes its extruder connection cable design over the Pro 2's previous cable chain uh, system. The Pro 2 had a large uh, plastic mounting that covered all the cables that ran up to the system. The Pro 3's has been entirely replaced with a single lightweight ribbon cable. This allows all of the weight to be distributed evenly on the print head and reduces the total weight of the upper system. The Pro 3 series uses an upgraded camera over the Pro 2 series. This one operates remotely via Raise Cloud or ID Maker, and there is an upgradable CMOS sensor for better image quality. Over the Pro 2 series, the Pro 3 series now features a flexible build plate system, so you can go ahead and remove the entire platform and flex it in order to remove our large scale parts from the full surface. There are specific thumb screws implanted in the each corner and that's going to allow the plate to be bolted down into the entire bed to make sure that it stays flat while printing materials that are likely to warp due to high temperatures. The Pro 3 features automatic detection for whether or not the lid is removed or the doors are open. So if the lid is ever lifted or a door is open while it is printing, it is automatically going to pause the print job and resume it once those doors and lid are closed. The Pro 3 features larger Z-axis smooth rods these are able to allow for a more stable printing surface and more consistent large-scale prints. Pro 3 is already included in Raise 3D's 3D printing ecosystem. The profiles for it are already pre-built into the latest version of IdeaMaker, as well as the online resource for the IdeaMaker library for future available templates. It's also going to be compatible with Raise Cloud for full remote operation and includes the features that you've become familiar with with the Pro 2 series for power loss recovery and filament runout detection. Pro 3 also features a similar dual extruder system to the Pro 2. This is going to ensure that you're able to print either dual material uh, or dual color for all of your printing needs. The printhead system of the Pro 3 has been entirely redesigned. The new system allows for the entire printhead to shift the right extruder. It does not need to be heated in order to shift this as the entire motor assembly will move all as one unit. Pro 3 Series allows for printing any material that is below a 300C extruder temperature. That is going to include all your standard materials like PLA, ABS, PTG, and TPU. It is also excellent at printing the higher grade materials such as polycarbonates and nylon composites. All in all, the Pro 3 is an excellent upgrade over the Pro 2 Series, including numerous new features of our Smart Assistant, 
the fully redesigned print head with the lighter ribbon cable over the cable chain, a flexible build plate, and the bed level detection system, including the airflow manager in the back to allow for fully enclosed low temperature printing, as well as the sensors on the upper lid and the door for automatic pausing. With a number of features and calibration guides built into the machine itself, it allows for much easier starts for new users and reduces the overall downtime for our experienced users as well. Pro 3 is a fantastic addition to any operation that already has an existing machine or someone who is new who's trying to get up and running right away. The Pro 3 is going to be starting at $5,249 with the Pro 3 Plus starting at $7,249. We're opening pre-orders on November 1st and you can see it in action at Formnext in Frankfurt, the SEMA show in Las Vegas, and West Tech in Long Beach.